Okay, hi, I'm Mindy here again um, with Cycle One Master Artist Lesson um, for my campus and my tutors. Um, today is the part two of an alternative lesson we did on Kyoto. Um, if you'll remember, refer to that video so you know what this means before you watch this one, okay? Um, but so today we're going to focus on Angelico. Um, Angelico and Kyoto go really well together, their art is very similar. Um, you can see here that he too started doing the fabric lines. He has blue oftentimes, okay? But what he is really, really known for is gold foil, um, foil leaf painting. So um, putting um, foil, gold foil on his art. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. Again, remember the thing I want them to notice, the thing I want them to walk away with is not a masterpiece, but information and insight and familiarity with a master artist. Um, so for Father and for Angelico, I want them to know about gold foil. I want them to know that he was very much, of course, into religious art. You'll have the book in class, and it'll have examples, okay? And you can see that his art is very religious because he was you know, a monk. So um, anyway, so we're gonna focus on that. Again, remember it's part two of our alternative Gyoto lesson. So, yeah. you'll have this in class. You'll have them laminated so they last. You'll be able to just show the students and then display them. All right, so today's part of the lesson is putting the foil on the halo using very thin foil leaf. So I wanted it to be as thin as I could get it to duplicate it as close as um, we could. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna sit down for this one. All right, so again, tutors, you will have brought back their angels from Kyoto. And now what they're gonna do, these are partly done, but we left them somewhat done so I could show you this. You're gonna have tracing paper, and the student's going to put this over their angel, and they're going to trace where the halo is. Okay. I don't have really good lighting in here, but if I wasn't 48, I would be able to see it better. Okay, so they're going to trace that, and then they're going to trace their angel head. And it won't be precise, okay? All right. So now they have this, okay? And next, you will have them put their foil underneath the tracing paper and can you see that Chloe yeah Chloe is my 17 year old who's an artist and my cinematographer <laughs> all right can you see it or should I hold it up okay so the gold foil is underneath and now they're gonna want um, you're gonna need to help for the abecedarians especially for my tutors for the young ones make sure they don't put like this little piece right here in the middle you're gonna want to try to make the most of the foil um, but so since this is a nice big piece, I'm going to get it to the edge. And now what I'll do is I will trace again. And as I press down on the foil, it will leave an indention and I will know where to cut for my foil. Does that make sense? Okay. They're kind of making their own template. Can you see that? And should I do it again? Can you see it, Chloe? No, I'll do it again. Kind of hard to catch in the video, but you can see it on the foil. So I'll do it again. Press hard. I'm trying to make an indention on the foil. All right, that's a little better. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. So then they will cut that out. Okay, and again, it's not going to be perfect. We're not trying to give them a masterpiece. We're teaching them about a master and, whoops, sorry, and we're giving them a technique. Okay. Again, I'm shaking because I get so nervous talking to y'all. I don't really know. Okay. This is, which one did I do? This one? 
to. I'm just doing... Don't mind my children trying to die upstairs. All right, so now, sometimes what will happen is they won't get it, you know, just how they want it, and they can trim, okay? So that's what I'll do right there. Trim this. And then they'll use their glue stick. Okay, you'll have glue sticks in the room, and I'm not gonna do this on my daughter's art, but. You'll glue there, and then you'll just press it down nice and smoothly around their halo. And then they'll do the next section. All right, it will be in pieces. So like you can see that there's several pieces here, and that's okay, okay? It gives it a definitely a homemade feel, and it helps the students understand the technique and how difficult it is to get that foil in there nice and smooth. All right, but um, towards the end, you can let them do it again, glue under there again, smooth it out again. Um, they'll probably, other than the youngest kids, they'll probably have a little bit of time and that allows for if they want to touch up their angel. Um, I will add to the notes on Giotto, but remind them, pastels are not markers. So they don't want to color in the whole thing. They'll want to do a line and then blend. Do some lines and then blend, okay? Because we don't want a student to go through an entire pastel. Right, so there we go. Again, this is Angelico for cycle one, focusing on gold foil.